Hello everyone, this is my new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to airdrop from an older Gen MacBook Pro to a newer Gen MacBook Pro. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So just to show you guys that this is actually a older generation Mac. Basically, we have on about this Mac, um, it's running OS X, OS X Cal El Capitan. This is the mid-2010 13-inch with a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigabytes of 1067 DDR3 RAM, uh, 250 gig, I believe, hard drive, not an SSD, and the NVIDIA GeForce 2 320M with 256 megabytes of VRAM, I believe. Um, I know that um, the newer MacBook Pros no longer use NVIDIA. Um, I know Apple no longer uses NVIDIA. Now they have switched over to AMD, which is a shame. But um, anyways, um, that's on about this Mac. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be sending a file through AirDrop. And to do this, basically all you need to do is make sure you have AirDrop enabled on your Mac. Usually it's already there by default. Um, the next thing you wanna do is also make sure you have your Bluetooth enabled and turned on. So if you go to the top option of your screen, um, you will see a Bluetooth icon and you wanna make sure that's set to on. And you want to make sure your Wi-Fi, you're connected to your wireless network. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a file from this Mac to my new Mac, my 2019 MacBook Pro. Just to show you what version of macOS we're running on the new MacBook Pro, this is actually running macOS Mojave. Um, and basically, um, it's on about this Mac. So just to show you guys that it's running the new version of Mac OS. Um, the newest version is actually Catalina, but I am not gonna update it as of right now. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys how to get this working. So the first thing you have to do is you have to select your file that you want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these two files or double click. We can actually select them both these files actually are picture to pick well one picture one picture and a text file so um this is a picture of um an auto show i went to a long time ago of a uh, lexus and we have a text file called butter so we're going to send butter and the lfa via airdrop so what we're going to do is use two fingers and double tap we're going to go to share and we're going to go to airdrop and we're going to wait for it to load and it's going to open up a box that's going to tell us to share with someone with using a mac ask them to go to airdrop in the finder so we're going to go to the other mac and we're going to go to airdrop And this is the critical part. So if you don't do this, you're not gonna see anything basically. And you're probably gonna wonder why this isn't working. Um, but prior to this, a couple years ago, I actually thought it was impossible to get it working. But actually you can get AirDrop working on an older MacBook Pro and a newer MacBook Pro. Just to let you know, this is a 2010 uh, MacBook Pro and this is a 2019. So there's a big difference. So what we have to do is go to the bottom of the screen where it says, don't see who you're looking for. And I'm gonna click on that. And you wanna make sure you're on the left-hand corner of the bottom of the screen where it says, allow me to be discovered by. I wanna make sure that's set to everyone. So we click on don't see who you're looking for. And then you wanna search for an older Mac. And Give it some time. It 
and make sure you're connected to the same network. So when we're ready, we want to make sure we select on the MacBook Pro, the sender, we select the name. So we're going to click. And then once we click on that, we're going to see a little gray icon on the bottom, gray uh, text box that says wait in. And then we're going to go to the receiver and it's going to pop up a little text box. And that's going to say John's MacBook Pro wants to, to, wants to send two items to you. So you have three options. You can accept and open, you can decline, or you can just accept. So what we're going to do is we're just going to accept it. So we're going to click on accept and we're going to wait for it to send. And as a matter of fact, it happened very quickly. So um, I believe the default location for the um, received airdrop files are in the downloads folder. So if you go to downloads, that's where it should be located. Um, and that's it. That's how you send a file from an older gen MacBook Pro to a newer model MacBook Pro. And this should work on any 2010 MacBook Pro um, and any 2019 Mac Pro, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini with Bluetooth, any, any Mac Pro or Mac Mini or MacBook Pro or iMac that has Bluetooth. So let me know if you have any questions about this. Um, feel free to leave any comments below. And um, as always, I hope you like this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please feel free to hit that like button. And um, I hope for the best. See you guys in the next one.